All right, guys, let me introduce you to codefights.com. It will be what we'll be using for the algorithm examples. The reason that I like codefights, a couple of reasons. Uh, let's start first. Let's talk, start why you should practice algorithms. Well, in reality, a lot of technical interviews are just that. They're algorithm tests. They give you maybe three problems. You have nine, 90 minutes or an hour, and they want you to solve all three or try to solve all three. I should say most of the time I don't solve all three. Now, Code Fights is great because it actually keeps track of your rank, and they give you hints if you with you know you earn gold by solving stuff. So sometimes you can get a little bit hint on those more technical ones. Also, the interview practice breaks it up into a very nice section of questions that are used for real interview questions from companies like Google, Apple, Microsoft, the mate Facebook, all the major tech companies. So that's really cool. But also, I like the UI and I like the setup, and I like the the, nest, the order of operations in this. You can see there's 380 algorithms here. I've done about 50. And they just reworked this section. I actually did 19 of these, and they reworked it, and I lost <laughs> I lost 10 algorithms. I'm hoping to get them back. They were supposed to be part of this course. But as always, guys, the, the arcade, some of the arcade videos will be on the YouTube. And if you're, if you're new to how I do some of my courses, is I'm going to work through all of these algorithms, and I'll have I'll have it up on Udemy if you just want this course. I'll have it on my site coderscourse.com, which will have all my courses for a small monthly fee, and uh, I usually include a little bit of extra content there as well. But let's go ahead and get started. I will show you the first example of the arcade, and that's where we're going to start working through. Arcade is broken up into a couple sections. You have the intro, and then you have core. Uh, Python and Grass we haven't got to yet, but we will eventually. We're going to start with intro. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So we are in the very first one, add. This is a basic uh, basic example. As always, we're going to be doing this in JavaScript. Now, it may come a time and place where I start solving these in PHP or Python down the road, but for the time being, we'll be solving this in JavaScript. If I do do that, it'll be part of my course that I, I'm going to be selling one of my courses, whether that's Coder's course or Udemy course. Now, this is a pretty simple one, but if you're new to to uh, JavaScript, let me explain what's happening. We have a function, which essentially is, as April likes to say, a recipe, and we're taking in our two ingredients or parameters. It's called add, and then down below, in terms of the UI, let's talk about that is you have solutions here that you can look at once you've solved the problem. So if you want to see if someone solved a better problem, that's where you go. You're graded on a score of 300. There's a bunch of stuff that goes into that. There's also comments. So sometimes you can get some comments in there. Sometimes there's people who actually put answers in there, which isn't cool. And then you have uh, some input and output and a little bit of distract di directions, rather. Write a function that returns the sum of two numbers. You have one parameter and a second parameter. Add them together and return that sum. Now, the thing that you're going to run into a lot, at least I did, was this time limit. Depending on how how long your it takes your code to run, if it runs longer than the time limit, even if the logic is correct, you will actually not pass the test. So keep that in mind once you get to these uh, more advanced algorithms. But to get started with this param, oh, and then you have the test down here. So you can see, okay, well, if we call the add function with param one being one and param two being two, it's you can see it's supposed to return three. And notice this locked up one right here. This is actually a hidden test. So you'll be able to see certain tests, other tests you will not. So you can't like hard code answers or anything. And, and you can go ahead and create custom tests as well if you think you can guess what one of those hidden tests may be. But in this instance, it's pretty straightforward. We want to use the return statement to return param1 plus param2. Now, that's probably the most efficient way of doing it. You run your test real quick, and you say, all right, cool, Sam two sample test pass. Now we have to see if we pass the hidden test. We submit it. We have, we are a coding god, <laughs> but a, a pretty, pretty straightforward one. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I look forward to explaining the next one. Now it's gonna it's gonna ramp up pretty quickly, so I don't think we're just gonna be adding and minusing numbers, but uh, it, it'll be fun stuff, guys. Hopefully, uh, you'll learn some functions and you'll learn uh, a little bit of logic in in the process. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. 
Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.